What is up everybody? It is your boy Geek of Sneakers back with another video. If you are new to the channel, I do sneaker and fashion content, so make sure to subscribe and join the Geek Gang family. We're actually doing a giveaway at 5k where I'm giving away two $150 gift cards to two separate winners to any retail store of your choosing. Hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload. Make sure to like the video if you guys enjoyed it and make sure to follow me on Twitter and IG at Geek of Sneak underscore now today i'm going to be showing you guys a hack that i do to enlarge a t-shirt i've been doing this method about two years now and it's been very useful especially when it comes to buying vintage t-shirts sometimes when you're buying a vintage tee for example if it's in a size large it can end up fitting like a medium or a medium can fit like a small and so on if it was a used t-shirt it could have been put in a washer and dryer multiple times for it to shrink and then you know it wouldn't it wouldn't fit like that true size like it was you know, when you first bought it. Or if you just so happen to buy a t-shirt that was too small or whatever the circumstance may be, this hack may be the way to go. And I wanna say this is not my idea. I got it from a YouTube video about two years ago, but since it was that long ago, I don't remember what was the exact video. If I find the same video or similar videos like it, I will put links in the description. And you could go off multiple people doing the same method and not just this one if this is the first video that you're seeing about this method. So we got a vintage Aerosmith Torti and this is what it originally looked like. How I want the t-shirt to fit is to have the sleeves longer and the length of the t-shirt was okay but it could definitely be longer too so what i did was get a bucket that the t-shirt was going to fit in and fill it up with lukewarm water which means it's not too cold or too hot basically room temperature or ever so slightly warm then i put some conditioner in the bowl you definitely don't need to put as much as i'm putting but putting more doesn't hurt it also doesn't matter what conditioner you use it can be any kind then after i mix it in with my hand for about 20 to 30 seconds so a lot of it can dissolve in the water and then after that i just submerge the tea inside the bucket of water and let it sit for about 20 minutes what the conditioner is doing a mixture of the water is loosening up the fabric so that we can stretch the t-shirt and it overall makes the stretching process a lot easier. Once the 20 minutes are up, I took the t-shirt out, emptied a bucket of water and conditioner, and squeezed as much water out of the shirt I could, and made sure there was barely any water coming out by the time it was done. I emptied the excess water out of the bucket and then let the t-shirt sit again for another 15 minutes so the t-shirt could dry up a little bit and it won't drip so much water when you're trying to stretch it. Also what you could do is get a towel and, and press down on the t-shirt and get all the water, not all the water out, but get some of the water out so that it's damp. I'm only letting it dry because I am stretching it inside but if you're going outside to stretch it I don't think you have to dry it but you can if you want to after I personally waited 15 minutes for for the tea to dry up a little I started stretching the areas I wanted longer and I try to be careful not to stretch the tea too hard because depending on the type of t-shirt especially if it's vintage you can rip the fabric that happened to me once and I was really bummed out because it was such a great tea that I was trying to stretch out I think it was I think it was a vintage Dale Earnhardt t-shirt from like I think 95 94 and it ended up having a bunch of holes around it so with this Aerosmith tea I just pulled slightly on areas I wanted to stretch as you guys see, I'm trying to stretch the sleeves and I spent about three to four minutes doing that and I made sure to grab both ends of the sleeves to stretch so that one end of the sleeve was not longer than the other. Then like I said, the length of the tee was okay, but I wanted it to be longer so I went along the bottom of the t-shirt and stretched out both ends of the bottom also for about three to four minutes. If you look closely, you can actually see the t-shirt start to stretch out with the fabric loosened. You can hang the t-shirt somewhere outside, but for me, I'm just going to hang it on the door and put a bucket under it for when the water drips. If you're letting it dry inside, I'd say about 24 hours later, it should be completely dry. And if you're letting it dry out, outside it should be a lot quicker within two to four hours so here's a side-by-side -side comparison of before and after as you can see the sleeves were originally kind of uneven so we fixed that and made it slightly longer and the length of the t-shirt we fixed and now it's to my liking i'm definitely happy with how the t-shirt came out another shirt i want to talk about is this bike week t-shirt i got from round two vintage and this is how it originally fit when i bought it from round two the length of the t-shirt is perfect but the sleeves are a little bit short and after doing the same steps i showed you guys with the aerosmith tee this is how the sleeves came out after stretching it it's definitely not as short as they once were when i bought it and overall gives the tee a better look with the longer sleeves. Again, this method was not my idea. The links will be in the description of people using the same or similar steps. I hope this was helpful and if it was, give the video a big thumbs up. Again, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And once again, follow me on Twitter and IG at geekofsneak underscore. I hope you guys keep rocking with your boy. It's been your boy Harry, aka Geek of Sneakers, aka Geek of Sneaks, aka Geek, aka G-O-S. Have a splendid day. I'm out.